Today's project is figuring out what we're going to do for a shower stall aboard Boogaboo. If you remember when we were back in end of February, beginning of March, I had come down and uh, shown you what wasn't uh, currently involved with trying to take a shower on this boat. Now I'm just going to spin this camera around and just quickly go over it again. Now currently the configuration is what is called a wet shower because there is no separate shower stall. So when one wants to shower this faucet, which is the basin faucet, pulls out and then mounts up there if you want to. So you can stand under there and have a shower. But of course, when that sprays, everything is going to get wet, including the sink and the toilet and whatnot. Now, not that that is a big problem because everything's fiberglass or plastic. So everything is designed to get wet. However, the issue is when we have had a shower in this, of course the water sprays all around the toilet, behind the toilet, and then Anchor Girl spends you know, 15, 20 minutes drying everything off nicely, drying this all off, so it's a bit of a pain. Not undoable or unusable, but it is uh, a little bit challenging. One of the reasons that, uh, one of the only reasons that we could see ourselves moving up to a bigger boat is to get a bigger shower stall. So, what are we going to do about it? Uh, between her, I, and you guys, uh, great suggestions that you left in the comments on the last video, we have come up with a brilliant, very inexpensive, do it yourself type of uh, solution. When I say do it yourself, how I'm doing it. <laughs> So I uh, switched back over to the GoPro and I'm going to show you what we did just because this is going to give a wider field of view, especially inside the bathroom. So what we got was this track, which came in, it was supposed to be a 10 foot length, but by the time it got to us, uh, one end was damaged. I had to cut about a foot off, but that said, it is going to work perfectly. So what I did to get this u-shape configuration is i just got out my heat gun which i was carrying on board the boat and heated the sides or see heated the corners where i want it to bend around it and as you can see i just chiseled out some of just cut some of the uh the backing so i could make that bend and heated it up and uh, slowly bent it around um the only issue that i had with doing that was this track actually collapsed in a few spots because of the heat. So it was a matter of letting it cool and then reheating little spots and just working it around with a flathead screwdriver. And it worked fine. Now back into the echo chamber. I'm gonna turn that around. Okay, real quickly, I'm gonna show you how these little glides can go around that corner nicely. We're going to have to just walk those things around, I think, with our hands just a little bit. But otherwise, they slide really, really easy. Now, the way I'm going to fasten this track on is uh, put two-way tape on the one side. This kit, I believe, was actually supposed to come with two-way tape, but it never did, so that's fun. So, uh, Anchor Girl was good enough to do some research online and find some heavy-duty uh, two-way tape. Now I found locally through Napa Auto Parts uh, they have available a 3M product but it was 60 feet I only need I need less than 10 feet and it would have been over 100 bucks and according to Anchor Girls research it does not have um, a very heavy uh, hold rating whereas this product that we ultimately decided on is Gorilla Mounting Tape and as you can see holds up to 30 lubs um, the only problem is it come in one inch wide roll, so I got to cut this down to half inch. So we got two ten foot rolls, or sorry, two five foot rolls. I could have gotten away with just one, but I will keep that for future projects. Now I have used Gorilla Glue on the last boat and this boat in the past, and it is super strong and it long lasting. So. Um, I'm sure this is going to be a very good, confident product. The only thing there is a warning. It says, this is a permanent tape and may cause damage or leave residue if removed. So, this is going to be a one-shot deal, my friends. And if it goes up and it doesn't work as expected, 
Yeah, probably that track is going to stay there for all eternity. So I'm going to cut this back now and apply it to the track and then stick it up there. Okay, hopefully you can uh, see what I'm doing here in that angle. It's the best I can do in this small room, but I think that wide setting on the GoPro will pick everything up. So, I'm just going to line it up. Look at that. Here's nothing, folks. So I just wiped down the ceiling in here two times. First of all, I went over it with a paper towel and some Windex. And then I went over it again with acetone just to make sure all the surfaces are clean, free of soap, scum, and whatever else, just so this tape will stick well. And hopefully, I get this all in the right spot. The instructions say to apply pressure for 60 seconds. I think the only place I'm going to have to do that is right here where the ceiling goes whoop, and up and around because everything else is somewhat flat. So I think uh, there won't be any issues yet. That stuck real good. I think I'll just pull all this tape off or sorry, the uh, backing plastic tape right now, which is a little easier to get at. Not as hard on my back as it is to stand here in this awkward position. Now, I probably mentioned to you before, I am six foot two. I would have been six three, but I skipped a year. <laughs> so this, look at, that's me standing up straight. So I gotta be bent over a little bit on the top. But uh, no worries, no matter. The only way we're gonna get, uh, you know, a super height shower stall again is gonna would be to buy a bigger boat. But apart from this, we really don't need anything bigger for just the two of us. And I know I've mentioned it in the past, but. Yes, doing the Great Loop is definitely on the list for down the road in the future. Can't tell you exactly when. I'm hoping four years. See how things go. And um, discuss it with Anchor Girl. And I said, would you be happy in a boat this size? Or would you think you would need something bigger? She says, no. Anywhere, everywhere, she'd be happy on this boat. Me too. Me too. That's the last little bit. Now I'm going to line up this end. Kind of like that. That's basically what Anchor Girl and I had looked at last weekend when we were laying this out. Of course, that is very tight already. to that end, it's not too close, yeah, okay, well, you know what, you know what, that's the way it's going to go, so I'm just going to hold this corner here again where the ceiling swoops up a little bit, and then same in this corner, I have to bend this piece. Okay, that spot there, it's all good here. I think we're good there. Well, I could probably hang from this thing. <laughs> so there is the finished product. But it was on sale. Uh, the regular price was um, $47, $46.04, it was. And for the uh, track? Yeah, for the track. Amazon. Yeah, and then it was twenty eight sixty four. So say thirty bucks. Yeah.
So 30 bucks. And there's only three left in store. Yeah, 30 bucks for the track. And like I said, it's supposed to be 10 feet, but there was really only like eight feet usable on that thing just because it came damaged, um, which worked out brilliantly. That's exactly the right length for what uh, we needed here. So see 30 bucks for that. All these hooky things were 20 roughly. And then this shower curtain, we have another one. Uh, I mean, these things are just disposable. Um, the original one was only 10 bucks, but this one was 20 because it was heavy duty because it has these little metal ring grommets in them. So 20, 40, and 30. So 30, 70 bucks. And then the Gorilla Tape. Oh, then those little white things. Let's say they were another 10. And then the Gorilla Tape was... 13 bucks so less than a hundred dollars well under a hundred bucks two rolls of the gorilla yeah tape. so well under a hundred bucks and we have a full shower stall and it is anchor girl approved and well I mean I can stand in there but you're not going to see anything because it's just too small so that's it that's the solution okay there wow woohoo I mean, of course, this door is going to be closed when you're in there. So that's going to protect the door and everything else. And a short person like you has lots oh, of space yeah. in there, right? Perfect in here for me. Yay, got a shower. So the final element of our new shower stall was this brilliant chrome finish, solid plastic shower head. Hmm. And this unit, Amazon, yep. right? Yep. So Amazon, 20 bucks. And it is a stop shower. But it does so and much. And I wanted it too with the adjustable on the outside. So you didn't actually have to turn the head to adjust um, yeah. the flow, the different flows, right? It's just a button on the outside. So right. that's a good feature. Right, so what Anchor Girl's talking about is the flow, the, the different flows. So you got like a spray and then a, uh, oh sorry, a stream, a spray, and then a fine misty spray, which is probably going to be the one that we use for showering. And then it has uh, on off. Let me pull the drain out of there before it'll be overflow. And then, uh, which is great, because then you can do uh, what is called a navy shower. Yes, I know that's dripping. I'm going to Home Depot right now to get a, uh, a little grommet, a little sealer there, because it didn't come in the package. So, in the shower configuration, you don't even turn the water off. Just set it to the uh, temperature you want, and you just do that, lather up, and then, boom, to rinse. And of course, then off. But for the sink, we'll probably just keep it to that stream right there. And it's a super shower, or so, sorry, a super efficient shower a water saving thing as well. You know, a thing. Luxury spa shower head featuring four settings, including high pressure, rainfall, power massage, jetting, and water stop switch. Shower head has tiny water holes and special structure to reach water saving effect. And it's got a cartridge in there. Yeah, and then there's some sort of cartridge which, as you can see, right in the head itself, it's supposed to uh, single function shower head with water sub switch. There is a cartridge in the head which can remove chlorine and it's highly effective. Oh, it is highly effective against dry skin and hair. You can have a healthy spa after taking shower. <laughs> and I will leave the links again. Amazon product, 20 bucks. Uh, I'll leave the links to all of these items in the description so you can find that for yourself if you are so interested. Bam. All right, back up. Now you explain what you're wanting me to show everybody. Well, that's where the shower curtain will go when you're not using it. So when not in use, the shower curtain slides right back into this corner. Yeah. Where you walk through the and door into the bathroom. Get, uh, two more hooks. Like tie backs, right? No, well, a hook and then mm -hmm. just a tie back. Right? Yeah. So then it's just all out of the way all the time. 
tied back. And you still walk corner. through there easy peasy, so it's, right? That's how it would be. That's how it's going to be in the not being used thing. Yeah. And you're happy with all that? Yep. Now we're ready for the great loop. Yep. Don't have to get a bigger boat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got no, your shower that, stall. No, that's great. Right? Yeah. Um, Which was the big issue. Yeah. And no, I think uh, this will be very functional and will will work for us. Of course it will. I mean, how many times did we use the shower stall when we were away last summer on the four weeks? Maybe half a dozen times each. Yeah. And if it's nice, you have swim showers, or if you're at yeah. a uh, um, marina, you just use the marina, right? Yeah, but it's nice um, to be traveling. But no, with our this own shower. will be better because you can. It'll actually be like a shower, right? Where before we were just you just held yeah the wand right? so one more another hook through like there and then just put a hook another hook at the bottom Let's see what's hooked in out of the way okay i won't use elastic but no that works yeah just 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 demonstration purposes yeah. so we're going to home depot now and we're going to get those hooks and it's all good so finish nice two thumbs up tell everybody you're happy i'm happy good so coming to you from our brand new shower aboard boogaboo that is it for my how i did it video and again i'm going to leave a link down in the description there's a playlist for all of my it used to be called do it yourself but now they are called how i did it videos and this is how i did this one so brand new shower including a shower head for 120 bucks or thereabouts Canadian money do my American friends so that's like almost free <laughs> if you're if you're spending US dollars on this and yeah all in with all the dicking around trying to uh, bend this plastic and whatnot and including research online from anchor girl I'd say probably four or five hours into this project nothing too difficult the only thing you can need is uh, basically a heat gun um, and um cutting tool so it's a easy do it yourself project if uh if you're so inclined so again hope uh you found this valuable and maybe learn some i know i did and it's awesome in the meantime you have to excuse me because it's shower time cheers thanks for watching Hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss any of the new boating videos coming up. I also post daily on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so check that out to get your daily boating fix. Head on over to my online store where you can find shirts, caps, mugs, and a whole lot more. Of course, all the links can be found down in the description, or click on over to BoatingWithBoogaboo.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next Boating with Boogaboo adventure. Cheers!